Hello everyone, welcome to Semicon Talk. Today, I'm going to talk about dye attach process. Dye attach process is to attach dye on substrate. And substrate can be red frame, laminate, ceramic, and so on. The most popular dye attach material is a paste type adhesive thanks to its convenience and performance. And it is also usually called as epoxy because epoxy is the most popular polymer material for paste type dietetic adhesive. It is packaged on syringe and dispensed on substrate using dietetic machine. After that, sewn dye is attached on dispensed adhesive. During this process, dispensing pattern is important for good coverage and bond line thickness. Then, put substrate with attached dye on into oven to cure. Oven is an equipment to control temperature and time. So, paste type adhesive is changed to solid material, which has good adhesion between dye and substrate then dye stays at fixed location without moving. For this process, dye location accuracy, rotation accuracy, tilt, bond line thickness per short BLT, and fillet are important. Location accuracy means dye should be attached on exact location based on design within allowed tolerance. For example, Tolerance can be plus minus 20 micrometers or less, depends on device. Rotation accuracy means dye should be attached on substrate without dye rotation based on design within allowed tolerance. Tolerance can be noted as an angle, so its unit is degree. This is very important, especially for optical device like image sensor. Tilt means flatness and some devices require dye to be attached without making any slope of dye surface. Again, this is very important especially for optical device like image sensor. Bond line thickness is the thickness of adhesive between substrate and dye. It is related with adhesion and reliability performance. Fillet means the height of adhesive at the side of dye when it is attached on substrate. It is related with adhesion and reliability performance. There is another popular adhesive type and it is a film. Film type dye attached adhesive is usually called DAF and it stands for dye attached film. Typically, DAF is used for memory dye to secure same bond line thickness over entire dye area and minimize tilt of dye surface. Because there are many dyes in one memory package and those are usually stacked together to increase memory capacity like 32 GB, 64 GB, 128 GB, and so on. So, dyes should be plaid to attach another dye on top. There are two different types of DAF. One is the FOW, means film over wire, and the other one is the FOD, means film over dye. FOW embed wire typically for memory dye stack like DRAM or NAND, and FOW embed controller dye for NAND memory package. So, FOW and FOD are used to minimize the packet thickness, which is very important when it is used in smartphone, because smartphone does not have enough space. To use DAP, first step is to laminate DAP on backside of wafer. Second step is wafer sewing process and during this process, sewing blade cut wafer and dab as well. Third step is to put sewn dye with dab on back on substrate. 
As you can see, there is no adhesive dispensing process because film is adhesive for DAV. Then, oven cure process is followed like a paste type adhesive. Most cases, package has one dye, but nowadays some packages have several dyes even up to around 16 dyes or even more. Now, can you understand what diatase process is? I hope you do. Have a nice day and see you again soon. Bye bye.